Bantu here, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to the Bleach Tribe Movement Community Builders HQ. We are here at the city center, and this is Microphone Check Scotland. <laughs> Before I even get into this, I would advise all of you guys to go into our Microphone Check Scotland Instagram and give us a follow. Follow our page and support what we do for the community, and I will really appreciate that. So let's get to the talking, Mumsy. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good, good. Uh, just had a good day today. How, how, do you, how do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? I'm feeling great. Um, had, had a really good produ productive day today. Yes. And uh, went to Tempo, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is in uh, Rutherglen. Yes, yes. And uh, we did some trials in the kitchen today. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And it was a good starter today and uh, met a lot of new people there as well, new faces and introduced myself and the place was absolutely amazing. So, beautiful people. So, um, before we, we actually, before I actually let you go into details with you, let's start a little bit by little bit. We're just talking about today, okay? Um, what do you think about temple community space it's very big space um it's a very big space yes i know isn't it? it's <laughs> massive yeah and there's a lot of things going on with a lot of talented people there mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they they've got qualities they're unique and they're sharing their passion of who they are their creativity their work and what they're producing is amazing and everyone's working like a team and they're all independent but they're all working and sharing together and it's a beautiful atmosphere um you feel very independent but also it's a very nice sociable place as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. and also people feel that they have a belonging yes so um they They've got a lot of things they can do and create and become what they really are wait well uh let me get my words right. <laughs> you st take your time, take your time. We don't even need to rush. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's it really is, exciting. it is. It's been a beautiful day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Honestly. Yeah. And um so three days ago when I went in there, yeah, and I thought, wow. So the space is pretty empty upstairs still, yeah. and it needs filling up yeah. and it's been like, it's, it's a beginning, it's like walking into a, a new space. Yes, yes, yes. That's why they call it temple community space. Yeah. And, and when I saw it and I thought, wow, there's a lot of stuff to be done in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it just felt like, you know, when you walk into something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel comfortable yeah, yeah or if you walk into a space yeah your intuition just says nah but this was something that i felt comfortable yeah and i felt welcomed uh -huh, uh -huh. and then i offered and i thought okay let's start something nice something comfy something warming and something nourishing and what did i make today you, you took over the kitchen today <laughs> <laughs> You didn't just take over the kitchen. When you came, you took over the whole place mm. because you came over the other day and then the first thing you did was you came in, you took the hoover, you cleaned the whole place, you tidied up, you cleaned up the place, you made it look shiny. You came back the next day, you tidy up some more, you cleaned up the space, the stairs, you made it shiny. And then you came out the third day, which was today, and you cooked us a lovely homemade pakora. Yeah. I've never seen a pakora getting cooked from scratch. This was like my first time experience and it tastes lovely. Yeah. And to start a pakora business. Yes. Everybody loved my pakora. Yes, yes we did. You <laughs> see the way they were lining up. 
we were lining up in the kitchen when you finish it, uh, finish cooking the pakora. Everybody was just in the kitchen. Even when I came out the the photography room, as soon as you come out the photography room, you can. Yeah, the smell just yeah. has drawn everybody to the kitchen, and and not just that. Last few days ago, I only saw one person walk by. That was it. Another person walked by. That was it. They were all there. They were downstairs. But nobody was really passing by too like often. Mm -hmm, and mm. then soon as that smell from the kitchen and the cooking and the and the nurturing smell was just like drawing everybody to the kitchen. It took over the whole was it? It took over the whole building. You can you can tell there is a chef in the building. And then what happened? Not once they passed by. Like three hundred. Three times. boys in the kitchen. Then there was a couple in the kitchen. Then there was a child in the kitchen. And they're all coming in out and out. I've never seen you go by this space six times today. I, I've noticed <laughs> you're wearing your Tempo t shirt. Yeah, yeah. Big up, big up. Tempo, <laughs> Tempo, we are here. Tempo is the space, and honestly. Um, I just noticed I'm wearing my yeah. Rudy King Bantu. Guys, <laughs> we got someone coming out. For those of you guys who know me, when you see a big R with a crown on it, with King yeah. in the middle, you need to know. That's Rudy King's brand. Yeah. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about Tempo and Mumsy. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, where can I start? I mean, this is just a little beginning. It's just like starting small, but very simple, but powerful. Very simple, but powerful. How would you describe the way you got treated when you came into Tempo? That includes me and everybody that's in the building. How would you describe it? Because you told me that you were going through a lot of stuff, yeah? Yeah. But when you came into Tempo, even when I called you that morning, I was like, yo, Mumsy, come here, you need to get here. Mm -hmm. How would you say you got received? What What was the, what was the, how did you, how did Tempo team receive you? That includes me too. I was touched. I was actually, <laughs> I've been other places and I've done things and whatever we've done like we've worked with other communities and you do a lot of hard work and you do a lot of offerings and and what happened was sometimes we have to watch ourselves as well watch mm -hmm, our mm -hmm. own space mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. in in time and in life in experience you learn a lot by your own mistakes yeah yeah and one thing in life you've got to learn how to say no yeah because, definitely because rudy's been there I've been there and those other people that work there, they've been there too. And that's what I felt. We all had something in common that we've done and really worked hard. Not just worked hard, but physically, laborally and put the passion into the heart, your heart into it, your love into it. And um, it's a space where it's like, nah, this isn't possible. This ain't going to really happen for me, is it? Because we're all looking for creative ideas and we all want to do something. We all want to set up something. We want to set up uh, something that we are passionate about, but we are not getting that support. We're not getting that guidance. We're not getting that push. Um, even though you say, I'm scared, I've got fear, I don't think this is, imp this is impossible, I'm stuck. And then you're stuck again and you think, I'm never going to be able to do this for the rest of my life because I'm really trying to work out something. But I'm just not getting there because the funny thing is you need to be, what I found out, I need to be with the right people and sometimes it takes time. And this time, after God knows how many years, I've earned it and my dream is coming true. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mumsy, because... I've known you now for, let's say, more than a year or two. Mm -hmm. And from the day I met you till now, you've been the same person. But like, I, like, like between me and you, it, it, it's going to take you a little while to accept or acknowledge that I am that person in your life and that uh, I, was, I was always there for you. And I will, I will, I will always... When I always wanted to make sure that you can see I'm here to mm. allow you to open your own doors because I've managed to break through the doors. So I, I understand what it takes 
in order to work with somebody, in order to allow them to open their own doors. But can you admit it took a while yes. for you to actually yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It did, it accept did, that? It did uh, take a while because when, when you've worked again for other people and then you feel let down and then other people can't believe in your creative passion, who you are and who your unique self is, where your soul wants to come out and serve its true purpose yeah. but people don't respect you for who you are and what your true purpose is mm -hmm. about it's it's really hard sometimes we do have to go through challenges in life and get let down and then you get to a point where it's just shutting off mm -hmm. and you feel there's nothing there in front and it does get a little bit where you feel you feel depressed as well mm -hmm. and then co uh, com uh, oppressed as well mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. suppressed so mm -hmm. all these things that you probably depressed call... oppressed and suppressed oh yeah my God. yeah yeah so i'm, I'm sure whoever, whoever's watching this it might resonate with you as well i can resonate too. yeah 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 and um and where I where I am, why I am here when I met Rudy, um, I said to him at this point, I said to him, I don't think I'm coming to the tempo space because I don't think there's anything. I've been in life, I've had letdowns and people don't believe for who I am. Mm -hmm. And my real sole purpose is thriving to come out and it's not going to come out if you're surrounded by negative people very true and um, negative people always tell you what to do or stay quiet you don't speak in front of anybody you can't say this you can't say that well when i was told you can't speak up or stay quiet in your corner blah 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 my throat center went as in yoga or as in um uh, in Reiki or we call these uh, energy point centers which are chakras and sometimes when you can't speak up because there's too many powerful people around you mm -hmm. and they are so powerful they're all together but that one person sitting there is saying something very truthful and it hurts because they don't want to hear you out and it's like feeling more suppressed and pushed back and that makes us feel diseased so can, can i use what you just say as an example i'll say for example i'm i've grew up with african families so i will say the elderly the older ones the over 40s and 50s these lot used to be the ones that would not listen to us yeah so for example when i first moved into the uk uh, Glasgow, living with my mother as a single mother, she had all of us. Uh, one thing I know is that not just her, but other moms, aunties, and uncles, Congolese, black, whatever. When you came to them with a question, and the question was something to do with nothing they know about, something to do with everything where you're living now. You ask them a question, which you have fifty percent of the answer, but you need you wanted somebody older to answer. When you ask them the question, they will not answer it. They will deviate, do zigzag, go up and down. Or if the question was an advice to empower you, they will kill you mm -hmm. with negativity. Oh yeah. They will detour you from what you're trying to speak, or they'll make you believe like well, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Although you know what you're talking about. So it was one of those where you, you can connect with them because they don't want to listen. That goes for the parents and everything. So that built resilience, rebellion, and also get the strength to want to be like, you know what? I'm going to go out there and go find it myself. Yeah. Although it took many years, now I'm in a place where I'm 35 years old. I live the life I want to live. I don't live in a box. Mm. I live the life I want to live. Everything I touch from Monday to Sunday, I'm the boss of it. Mm. Now, a lot of friends or somebody from the outside will say, well, how much, how much money do you make with it? So let me be just quietly honest to my friends and my people. You need money to survive in the Western countries. 
and in other countries in Africa and everything. Yes. But you don't need money to live. Hear me, Arian. You need money to survive, but you don't need money to live. If your head is screwed on the right way, your experiences has taught you what you learned, you know, you went through darkness and you've came out in the light. You will find out that you don't need money to live. You need money to survive. So, any advice I get from mentors, businesses, and people that would inspire me, I take it 100%. Mm -hmm. And if it's money involved, I'll take it also. Even though I don't have it. Mm -hmm. But one thing I know I have is the drive, the passion, the energy, and the power to go out there and make anything happen yeah. that will bring money in. Yeah. So, I'm actually happy that I went through all the things I went through in order to be in this place because I never want to see. They say never, see never. I don't know who started that never, see never. <laughs> I do not want to see my daughter ever being stuck in her own brain. Yeah. She's about to go to high school. I'm going to be on her case. My high school is not going to do that to my daughter because I know how many energies floats around the, uh, high schools. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen what kind of energy flows around primary school. Mm. So I'm looking forward to what's going to float in high school. And trust me, high school, I'm ready for you. Yeah, it is quite difficult when uh, you're a parent. And I mean, I've got, I've had four children and they're mm -hmm. all grown up now. They're at unis. Thank God we were blessed to be like guiding them. And mm -hmm. they're on their feet now and they're flourishing there doing exactly what they wanted to do mm -hmm. they're they're doing their own creative work and they're all musicians yeah. and one's an artist and she's a teacher and and uh now i'm at this point where i'm free well, we're gonna try to like ease it off a little bit because this uh nice uh video we're doing was to talk about today because most of the time you lot only get to see what we do on a daily basis for social media if there was no social media and we didn't post in our stories or a little video you won't get to see anything if you are connected with us in terms of friendship and contact and everything you get to know what we do but like as far as i'm aware we are not connected okay social media keeps us connected in fact for us that have social media that we post our stuff into that's the only way we connect. So bear with us and also apologize for the cut off. But we're going to continue so we can get to the bottom of how our day went. So uh, we're talking about Tempo, how Tempo has received you, Mumsy, and how you basically have uh, felt since you got into Tempo. And we're also referring to how our own, uh, we have our own places that we've been to that we don't receive the same help and support. And we have our, our own circles and of people who've been around that you you would not really think uh, that you had to wait a bunch of years until now to go meet a group like the dream team that we have in temple you know what i mean yeah. but yeah like we always say the universe uh wanted us to align uh, differently so it took ages for us to be able to land where we are right now mm. and now with all the kindness of heart that we have, kindness of heart that we have, we've managed to find people that align with us, like-minded people, and now you feel like you're getting listened to, and now you feel like everything you work for and experience, you can actually put it to work and turn it into a business or some type of a, a work and product or project that you can give back to the community using your power and energy. Mm -hmm. So we had definitely met the people that we needed to meet. And I'm just talking about Tempo. Tempo Community Space is part is my dream team. Like right now, there's nobody that can outdo Tempo Community Dream Team. But also big up to Bleach Tribe Movement, Community Builders, my main man Don. For those of you guys who don't know, Don Bills, get to know. For those of you guys who don't know Bleach Tribe Movement, Community Builders, get to know for those of you guys who don't know please tribe movement radio get to know for those of you guys who don't know please tribe movement tv get to know 
Anyways. So, Mamzi, let's not stay here all night. We all gotta go home. So, just to close up our uh, nice uh, video that we're doing today, what would you say in one word? In one, not in one word, like what would you say, like in, in, in a paragraph or in a sentence? How your three days coming to temple has been? Energizing. Energizing. You give me like a sentence. It's been energizing. It's been, it's been, it's been. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first walking was like on a low level, like feeling low and you walk in, you think, mm -hmm. you're looking around and you're like uh, finding, a, finding, getting familiar with the space, yeah. basically. Like, mm, that's where I'm in. Yeah. yeah. And then getting introduced to showing around the rooms mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then going, oh, wow. Okay. And then introduction to people who are already working there mm -hmm. and they've got their own rooms and they're yeah. working in and they've got clientele coming in and out. Yeah. And uh, and then all the space that was like just gone downhill, like all dusty surfaces and things mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. rooms that haven't been touched. Yeah, yeah. And you need human beings to go in there and put the light in it and yeah. energy into yes, it. Yes, yes. And yes, it all yes. looked like wow, this is gonna look. It's looked looking a little bit uh quiet, but mm -hmm. um in between darkness and lightness coming in. Mm -hmm. But there's. There's, there's because you're there as well yes. and your friends that I met mm -hmm. they are amazing they're just like wow they've worked really hard to get to somewhere they really are working they're not going to give up they're not going to give up until it starts manifesting and yeah. now this is the beginning of manifestation mm -hmm. and we can feel the warmth coming in mm -hmm. and uh, more new people coming in and yeah, yeah. Uh, today I met some more new uh, people that I've yes, not seen yes. and in these last three days. Yeah. And and then today when I walked in after two days after like the hoovering, cleaning the carpets and um, just lightening up the space um, and then polishing down the kitchen and things and, you know, just scraping a little bit of paintwork here and there. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. just made a lot of difference with your help as well, fixing the hoovers and everything. <laughs> that was so fun. The hoovers weren't working. Yeah, no, and no, then no. the hoovers worked and everything's working. <laughs> yeah, mama G, mama, Mumsy was in the house. <laughs> and then I thought, no, I'm not just going to clean the place up. I'm going to cook in it. Mm -hmm. So I went pakora as the first thing, and it wasn't just pakora that you just make normal pakora where you get it from restaurant or you get it from carry outs or takeaway shops, and mm -hmm. and they use different kind of oils and things because fresh. I'm gluten intolerant, mm -hmm. so it's gluten free as well, mm -hmm. and it was wholesome, vegan, and organic, uh, cooked in organic sunflower oil as well. So everyone. Boom blood. And the people that were you there, need some of that pakora. Yeah, and the people that were there, they go, I'm, I'm a gluten intolerant, and I said, well, come to my kitchen. I says, here's your gluten free food. Uh, I'm dairy intolerant. Uh, oats milk in the tea is chai. Um, anything? No mistake. You can't. When you make clean food, you can't go wrong. Everybody's healthy. Mm -hmm. Even the gym, uh, uh, a personal trainer. Um, came upstairs, then James came upstairs, um, uh, May Jim, she came upstairs, everyone came upstairs and they go, oh, I've just had a workout, but these are looking really delicious, I need some to eat, <laughs> and I said, go for it, and, and one girl, she was really not well, mm -hmm. and um, she wasn't feeling well today, and she just felt lit up and alive after she had her cup of chai, mm -hmm. and um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they all felt nourished they all felt fed and they all just kept coming in and out the kitchen i'm like they don't come in this kitchen at all it's to smell up the food so plenty of food folks so if you haven't got a space to be free or you ha you feel there's no sense of belonging or um there's something that you want to do or get advice or set a path of your career and you think it's impossible ha ha the impossible is possible, possible. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah and uh, we're, we're just not talk we walk 
our talk as well. So we walk our talk and we practice our walk. We keep practicing and practicing and practicing until it becomes real and it's fun as well and it's enjoyable. There's not a day in these last three, four days I woke up alive and I felt like I've got a purpose to go to. Amen a, to that. A Amen true, to that. a true purpose. Yes. Not just getting up and going. Mm, I've got to go in the kitchen and wash up and just make some breakfast and leave the house and leave. Oh, I'll worry about the kids. Uh, no, just walked into my. Just got ready, had the breakfast, got out the house, took my recipe into the kitchen, into my clean kitchen, into our clean kitchen. It's everybody's kitchen. It's shared kitchen. And um, and everyone is volunteering there as well, and not just seeing the clean starting starting to see the place clean. They're getting drawn to walk into the clean place as well, and it's feeling welcoming now. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, from this just day three, and before you know it, in our next talk, we can. Tell you more what we've done and what's come of it yeah. in tempo. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes. And I'm also a yoga teacher. I forgot to say. I, I, I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to unleash. Yeah. I was about to unleash yeah. on them. Yeah. So uh, yes, uh, guys, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna terminate our lovely uh, video session. I don't know if I should, if I should call it a podcast or if I should call it just a random video, but if it's longer. Then we might as well use it as a podcast. Well, well, what we could do is like uh, just have it as a community space podcast, um, and it's educational. It's a it's a it's a space where people can come and learn and have set paths, and they may even just come and go. Oh my god! Because we can see people's um, uh, strengths and where they can actually go. Yeah, I really like this, but. Is it possible? Again, the word possible. Yeah, it is possible. And you can be, you can build up your strength, feel encouraged, come there and exercise. Is that, is that, is that you talking about tempo there? Tempo, right. yeah. I, I, I thought you yeah. were talking about the video. No, no, no. <laughs> because no. I said... And it's the video as well. The video is yeah. about tempo and where people feel they, they can't go anywhere and they feel lost. Yeah. So, please, yep, yeah, come to us. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, just to highlight what mom is saying because I, I I actually got caught up. I thought you were talking about the video, but and the video, yeah, yeah. we were talking like so, mix both. There will be loads of videos like this coming out, guys. Like uh, I'm not gonna lie, I love making videos. For any of you guys that are my social media platform, you see I make videos. I'm a dance teacher. I'm a dancer. I'm a performer, and now now I'm I'm venturing myself into ent- entrepreneurship. You will always see videos of me, either talking in the podcast, talking in an interview, either making videos of myself. You will always see videos of me. So I want you guys to really know that this is very important for us. So before we end, uh, I want to give a big, big shout out to Mumsy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, why am I giving a big shout out to Mumsy? Because Mumsy, you came far. You came far in order to be here, sitting here. So big shout out to me. Thank you. Okay. Big shout out to Mamsi. Another big shout out I want to give out to is to the Bleach Tribe Movement Community Builders for providing us with a space like this. And HQ with a space like this. All these mics, all these chairs, all these cartons and all these everything that's in here. There's even more. But for those of you gotta watch us, you you see what's up. Big up to Bleach Tribe community builders uh, uh, for allowing us to be in here and look out for Bleach Tribe Movement and Radio that's already launched is btm btmradio.com and show us some love on the social media platform Bleach Tribe Movement Bleach Tribe Movement Radio Bleach Tribe Movement TV Bleach Tribe Movement Community Builders boom now the daddy big big shout out to Tempo Community Space for being for welcoming us with open arms, for giving us the opportunities, for giving us ladders to be able to enter their space so we can create what we already did there and then reach other connection. Big up to Tempo for allowing us to make use 
of their resources. Big up to Temple communities for allowing us to make uh, to make use of it, their merchandise, their system, their steam. Big up to Temple. And an advice I want to give anybody out there, any organization, charity, social enterprise, always run by somebody or some type of team. Be there for your people. Don't be there for the wrong reason. And when I mean for your people, I don't just mean your people. All of us are your people. Everybody is my people. When I step out in the street, I almost treat everybody like my people. Although I'm not going to get it back. But regardless, I'm a king on my journey. So I do not expect things back. It's going to come back anyway. So my advice to you people after this lovely session with Mumsy, after this lovely day we've had, a temple. Now we are the Blaze Tribe Movement Community Builders HQ. I want you guys to take one message from me and one message only today. Together we stand. And the most important thing in life is give somebody else's life a meaning. Not just your kid, not just your family, not just your friend and your whatever. Everyone, with the power you've been given, you should be able to touch everybody and be able to leave them with something. And for you guys, snipers, I don't know if you know what I mean by snipers. Snipers is these people that look at us like this. <laughs> they're looking at you like this, as if they can't see you, but they can see you. Yeah. But they act that they can't. <laughs> you lost snipers, we love you too. Eventually, you stop using your sniper and you put your guns down. And then put your heart forward first. Is there anything you want to say to the people, Mums, before we cut this video? I was seeing this really lovely quote on um, line today, and um, I, I can't remember it fully, but it said, "Stop chasing the butterflies, because the butterflies will run away." Yeah, that's different. I've never heard that. Stop chasing the butterfly because they'll run away because you're all over the place like catch on the catch the butterfly. Yeah. But if you stay chill and calm and put your hand out like this, the butterfly will come and sleep in your arms. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'll let Rudy speak first. So okay, you but everything has okay, a yeah. perception. I am not gonna get to the end of this butterfly part, but the meaning of this is stop chasing the butterflies because when you're chasing the butterflies they fly away from you mm -hmm. right if you really want the light and you want to manifest yourself like a butterfly stop chasing the butterflies and then you they won't run away the butterflies will come back to you mm. stop chasing the butterflies Maintain who you are, where you are, how you are, the butterfly will come towards you. And only take interest in yourself so the butterfly will chase you. And what you mean by taking interest in yourself, you make yourself the most powerful thing walking before you pour into others. Be soulful. Be soulful. We need to fill our soul first with beauty, love, light, and become energized. Just like the sun shines on nature, animals, they all soak up nature, the light, and energized. And that's what we need to do. Uh, there's a lot of meaning behind that. Um, but we'll have another chat next time. Yes. I just thought I'd touch on that subject today just to kind of go, hmm, what's going to be interesting about this subject today uh, next time? Yeah. Um, well, we'll do that next time. Yeah. So, yep, stop chasing the butterflies so the butterflies don't run away from you. Look inward and the butterflies will chase you. Stick together.
and give somebody else's life a meaning. Don't be selfish and greedy because you end up alone with a dog. Alone. Okay, guys. I'm Rudy King Bantu. You guys know me as the king of the dance floor, but I'd rather you remember me as Rudy King Bantu. This is Mumsy. For those of you guys who don't know, check out our socials, which is our platforms on Instagram and Facebook. You'll find me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok as Rudy King Bantu. And you'll find Mumsy on TikTok. You know, you find Mumsy on TikTok, Instagram, and probably Facebook as Mumsy. Yes. Uh, I'm going to attach uh, some links there so you guys can see, so you can follow us and keep up with us. Like, say from that, go and show some love to my page, Microphone Check Scotland. Go and show some love to Blizz Tribe Movement Community Builders. Go and show some love to Temple Community Space. And go and show some love to... Yourself. Yourself. And we'll see you guys soon. And also, guys, remember, this place that we're using is up for hiring. Hiring, You can hire it. You can come and set up and start your own shows. But we produce them. Uh, so, look out. Uh, the Blitz Tribe uh, movement uh, Instagram and uh, reach out to us so you can start your own show in our HQ. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mumsy, for Thank coming you. here today. We out! <laughs> hey, yo. I was rolling. Oh, yeah. I've been looking for a girl who gon' be down for me. Hold the strap, also down to do the time for me. We popping pills, vision blurry, love that ecstasy. In the trap, moving packs with the strap on me. And I be gone on a mission, I be gone.